Beijing to Mumbai, from Singapore to Perth, we take a journey, following the way of Sun Tzu and his ancient text, The Art of War, a book written in blood, holding the secret to defeat any enemy and to ensure certain victory. In the modern world where corporations are the new empires, Sun Tzu's genius has found fresh purpose. Now, we declare war on business. By applying the deep wisdom of Sun Tzu in the battlefield of finance, I've built multi-million dollar businesses all across the world. And that's why I'm here in Singapore, to do the same for a business that has overseas growth potential. Australian Malcolm Davis, a true entrepreneur, found a niche in Singapore's tourism industry when he opened the Prince of Wales, a laid-back hostel and bar in the city's Little India district five years ago. Sun Tzu says that war should be only used as a last resort. But here's Malcolm's problem. In the past five years, the war has come to him. Direct competition from new bars and hostels has made Little India into a hotbed for consumers and a battleground for his business. His only choice is to fight for every dollar. From city to city, we travel seeking out entrepreneurs who are giving all they have to take on the battle, to face up to their challenges, and to do what it takes to win the war. But wherever the battle is to be fought, every warrior needs a place of tranquility away from the battlefield to discuss the problems of war, a place where perspective is the objective, a space we call the General's Tent. Tell me about some weaknesses, some challenges that you have. I'm not a numbers guy, you know, uh, I'm an ideas guy and I see ideas every day and uh, I'll come back to the office and I'll tell everyone about my idea and they'll go, Ooh. if I'm not interested in it, I lose my concentration. Um, so it's very frustrating for my wife. Every general who is at war will claim that he knows best, but a truly enlightened one will always seek counsel. So we took some of fashion designer Kavita's latest designs and asked the opinion of the real bosses of the fashion world, the consumer. Probably try the first dress. The gold dress. The gold dress, even though I think it's too much fabric for the draping. I would like to take away the rouge back. Too much? She looks like an old Victorian curtain. Now the time has come to face the hard truth in a place we call the war room. Business is not very simple. It's a long war, it's a long battle, and you always have to innovate to protect your ground. So what I want to know is, are you ready to really hear the hard truth and the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything? In the chapter seven of Sun Tzu, it actually, the, the strategy is change. Change is the most constant thing in life. And it seems that you have come to a point where change, you have, you're, in a way, you're fearing the change. So what are you going to do about this? Now that the path has been shown, our entrepreneurs need to travel it alone, to seek guidance from those who know, to craft a new strategy, to make the changes that will ensure our final victory.